today's video is going to be a tutorial on this whole entire makeup look right here. I really love how the eyes look and I hope that you do as well. Everything here is very very easy to follow so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look then just keep on watching. Okay so I'm going to start off with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. I'm just going to take one pump on my hand. So now that I've smoothed my pores out a bit with the primer, I'm going to start off with concealer. I'm just using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this one is in the shade Medium 30. I originally got, the, oh, I originally got this for spot concealing but this is a little bit too dark. Um, as you can see. So even though this is still dark, I still use it under my foundation as an extra concealer. Especially again when I have red spots like this or when I have a lot more pimples than usual and I just dab a little bit on the pimple like this to spot conceal. I cannot get over how good this concealer is, not just for spot concealing but for highlighting as well. The only thing I don't like about it is that it creases pretty bad right here under the eyes but it's not such a big deal because the creasing is just right here like immediately under the eye. It's not all around here or anything. So it's pretty manageable. So for foundation, I'm just using my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Natural. Just using one pump of that. This is a full coverage foundation. It's also very thick. The consistency is very thick. And then with this flat top brush, I'm just going to buff it into my skin. And then taking my no filter concealer from Colourpop in the shade light 20 this time, um, I'm using this to highlight under my eyes. Then just to tie in the concealer with the foundation to make sure it doesn't look too harsh and unblended, I'm just going back in with my foundation brush with no additional product and I'm going over the edges. Next, taking my Australis Take Me On Tour Contour Palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here to set my face. I'm using a big powder brush from Morphe. Actually, I'm going to use my E46 with that powder to set my face so that I'm more precise with it. And I'm just going to tap it in like this. I'm not going to swipe it on my face. So now that I've set my face and it's nice and matte, I'm gonna s I'm gonna bronze my face with the Benefit Pula bronzer. I'm using my Morphe R2 brush. I love the feeling of freshly washed brushes, makeup brushes, but it's so hard to clean everything, especially when you don't have you know just a few brushes. I definitely don't think that I have a lot of brushes actually compared to other people, but it's already so hard to wash all of them. But it's also so rewarding once you actually finish washing all your brushes. With the 
same brush, just making sure that all the excess has been tapped off. I'm just going to bronze on the side of my nose like this. Nothing too precise, just very messy like this. It actually didn't do much, but just doing that makes me feel like I sort of contoured my nose a little bit by bronzing it, even though it didn't really do anything in real life, but you know, let's just pretend that it did something to my nose. For blush, I'm using this e.l.f. blush palette and I'm taking this peachy color right here. I always use this color, it's my favorite. I love colors like this. And I'm also using an e.l.f. blush brush, highlighting or blush brush, I'm not so sure what it's called. Oh, so sure. I put too much blush on this side. It looks darker, but I can't balance it out. I'm not sure if it looks the same on camera. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go into highlighting now. For highlighter, I'm actually using the same Australis pal old palette, and I'm using this pinky highlight shade right here. It actually doesn't pull pink. It's very subtle, but it's very nice and natural. I like it. Surprise, I'm not using my champagne pop. I really, really like how soft the glow looks on this, but if you build it up, it can still be intense. Okay, so now that I'm done with the base makeup, I'm going to start off with the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm doing a really nice pop of color. It's actually perfect for Christmas, but I love this color in my lids. And I'm going to be doing a green eye, green look. So to start off, I'm using my Morphe 35F palette. Um, I'm using this shade right here in the middle of the mattes. I love this because it's a cool toned brown. And I'm taking this fluffy Morphe brush. So I'm just going to apply that all over the crease. And you know how to forget All the wrongs and every reason why we've changed and there's a storm inside my head so as you guys can see it did end up becoming really dark i didn't expect it to be this dark but i actually like it better i think it will go better with the um, lid shade and then using another palette i love this one this is morphe's collaboration with kathleen light who is my all-time favorite youtuber ever um, this is what the palette looks like. Pretty sure I've used this on my channel, I think, for my first video. But yeah, this is what the palette looks like. And I'm gonna take this bright green shade right here. This is so intense and so beautiful in the lids. I'm just gonna take it with my finger and I'm gonna pack it on. Wow. It's getting me in trouble, baby. As you guys can see, the payoff is intense and you can also see micro glitters on the eyeshadow. And I can So before I blend in the green, I'm actually going to go back into the crease shade we used here. And I'm going to use that to smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm going to be using this more precise brush right here. There's no particular reason why I'm smoking out the lower lash line before I blend out the green. It's just that I'm using the same brush. So I don't want the green to get on the brush and then for it to get on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend out the green using the same brush. I'm doing this very slowly and very carefully so that the green doesn't get into the crease too much and so that the shimmer doesn't spread into the crease. Just to intensify the green even more, I'm going to go back into the green shade and I'm just patting it on to the center like this. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on so that at the same time, the eyeshadow kind of gets blended in as well. And then taking an even smaller, more precise brush, I'm going into the highlight shade right there on the top. And I'm using that to highlight the inner corner. I'm also taking that on the brow bone so that our brows pop even more. And so you can clearly see the separation between your eyebrows and the eyeshadow. Okay, so far I'm really loving how the eyes look. Now I'm just gonna go in with some winged liner. I'm using my Kate Digital Memory Liner. This is a felt tip. And you know how to forget. All the wrongs and every reason 
Okay, so I ended up messing up my winged eyeliner again. I'm usually pretty good at winged eyeliner when I'm not filming. Like, when I'm not filming, my eyeliner is on fleek. But right now, mm, but it's okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some eyeliner on my waterline. I'm just using my Chanel waterproof eyeliner, the usual. Now I'm just gonna apply some mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Lashinista. My all-time favorite mascara, it just makes the lashes so much longer. It doesn't give that much volume, but it actually works really well on the lower lash line. And taking some on my lower eyelashes. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my falsies. I really, really love how the eyes turned out. I want to wear this every day. Like, I love green on my eyes. I think green is such a beautiful color as eyeshadow on anybody. It's just a really, really stunning color on the lids. So we're almost done, but now I'm going to set my face with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And for the very last step, I'm using ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade My Jam. This has really beautiful micro glitters in it. It's like a metallic, glittery, bronzy kind of lip gloss. Okay guys, so basically that's the look done. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really think that this is pretty easy to follow seeing that I only used like two shades for the eyes, just the crease color and the vibrant green color on the lids. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!